got places to be, I'm your best guide. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. Japard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, brosish? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. Ah, <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here, I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Branya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Branya out of the Fragmentum and back into the Administrative District. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Branya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Wait! Mm, what is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning and now they smell terrible. So don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. I am not. How dare you? 
you? What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. <sighs> Phew. I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Brong is in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klepoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Didn't you hear him? He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Bronya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. All right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I, 
Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no. Captain Japard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. <laughs> I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. Well, let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. This is the Restricted Zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra minutes of one-arm planks to our daily drill. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You're Japard's sister, all right. I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using my brother's name. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at Hell on Earth. An endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Right on! I'm stealing that! <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. Nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. See, there's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life.
Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure did. Palo was on lead vocals this time. Scared me half to death. It's a completely different style. Even Mechanical Fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Don't be so pessimistic. They're just keeping things fresh. I thought Palo was pretty good. Activated. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I was just thinking that we can't rule it out. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. <sighs> Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Belobok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! like a giant iron ball and it's behind a gate what are the odds its formal name is the mechanism energy hub it's connected to all the energy lines i would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone mm. no wonder it's so heavily guarded one unit for everything <laughs> that's a disaster waiting to happen we learned the hard way as long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, 
I won't stand in your way. Done? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem, we'll be back in a bit. You! Hold it right there! This is a military base. Temporary workers aren't allowed in. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? It seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way! I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. As long as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Surval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Could you be any less discreet? <sighs> Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Aha. Uh -huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him? Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. 
These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... <laughs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. <sighs> there goes the negotiation. brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand! My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Another journey begins. Stand still. Need a doctor? Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Just give it up. Time to show what's in your prescription. Thanks. You're too good to me. Thanks. You're too good to me. May as well kill him all. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. Relax. Let's be friends. Yeah. On my mark. Here stands the Silvermane Guard. Say bye to breathing. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Thanks. You're too good to me. Stand still. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! <laughs> Fight is won! Serval? Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... I think we attracted attention! That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. 
Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Who's on this? Stream four. to say bye. Boom. Destined for oblivion. Relax. The still waters of oblivion. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Another blood debt repaid. Another blood debt repaid. Someone there. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Still waters of oblivion. For oblivion. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Seek, and you will find.
We're in. It's open! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn! Sick. Give me some time. Uh, who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive! Emergency fire evacuation system? Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs! Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Sir Ball, won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Uh. Who goes there? Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. <laughs> if we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go! <laughs> Time to show you what's in your prescription! Thanks. You're too good to me. We're in trouble now! <laughs> Free will, or was it the destined for oblivion? Let me tend your wounds! Relax. Another journey begins. Stand still. You don't look so good. <laughs> good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Between still waters of oblivion. Another blood debt repaid. Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on, come on! 40%. 65%. Eighty-five percent? <sighs> we did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, Will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Japard's... Since he enlisted, 
He could never beat me when we were little, but... Now... Serval, it really is you. Wait, Japard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silver Main comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We've found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum! It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the Restricted Zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy, that you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge, and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. That's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them! The Forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all! I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end! Save your explanation for the judge! You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested! This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat.
Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Thanks. You're too good to me. On my command. Take courage. Welcome, customers. Relax. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. That's half the work. Stand still. Better late than ever. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> yeah. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am... I won't yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya? There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty-bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But, Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Belabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Belabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. 
You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. You see? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. Ugh, enough apologizing. My ears can't take any more. Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. What's wrong with a bit of violent coexistence between siblings? Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Since I left the military, my brother and I have always steered clear of certain sensitive topics. <sighs> Thinking about it, perhaps he's just been looking out for my feelings, shielding me all along. Knowing my temper, my brother almost certainly went to great lengths on many occasions for me. I should be thanking him. Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable job. It's time to get even. Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that I was right. Once we've taken care of the Stellaron, maybe she'll go back to how she was. Sorry, uh, hardly the time for me to be obsessing over all this. As I mentioned, if we want to progress further north, we're going to have to cross that hell. Still, look at it this way. Just another arena to showcase our skills, right? Now, if you're ready to get on stage, let's push for that standing ovation. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane Guards. They're fighting for survival here every day just like Wildfire. The difference is we're making a stand for freedom, while they're just carrying out orders. Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people's understanding. She needs to understand her own heart. It's the same with Jepard. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. Put ourselves in their shoes? <laughs> Easier said than done. Everyone has their struggles. But how can we understand them if we can't even see each other? I think I can already hear the storm on the other side of the city walls. <sighs> Not a reassuring sound. I hope Serval's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Branya. <laughs> Seek, and you will find.
As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate! Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. Here they come! Steal yourselves! For oblivion. Again. What is your prescription? Fight is one. Time to say bye. Boom. to say bye. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it! Huh? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you, I do! I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and... Oh, it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is his first trailblazing expedition. How will he be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. 
Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. <sighs> so you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little... off-site assistance. Is this... the Fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. Oh yeah, it feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this Fragmentum maze first. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually. And cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the Fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. isn't them. It must be... a kind of echo? Some type of residual energy replicated by the Fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way! <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. told me what this place is, Mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor, filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Bronya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Uh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? 
From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. When the promise is fulfilled, Branya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins! No. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Ah, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub-looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. Other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Look, over there! I think I can see the next unit! Oh, I see it too. Let's go! Storms on the ground. Say bye. Boom. The still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> Stand still. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. <laughs> 